fighting out of France. Coming off the first defeat of her career against Delphine Pursun. You don't usually stumble your way into a title match, but she did it. And don't let that loss fool you. She was very competitive against one of the best in the world. Let's see how she does against the bomb. Ten rounds for all the marbles. Here we go. What's the key in the early stages here? I think they both have to figure out where they're comfortable with each other, figure out what they can do, and how fast each other is punching. <laughs> Looks like Megalette is trying to time that jab so she can throw a right hand right over it, which she successfully did there. And if you're gonna throw jabs at Alicia Baumgartner, they better be sharp jabs because her most effective punch is that overhand right. That's the shot she nailed Terry Harper with, and Terry Harper came in, a bit of a lazy jab, and paid for it. Michaela Mayer had success with the jab against Bumgarner, but wasn't quite as successful as she needed to be to get that decision. She's in the crowd here as well tonight. Nice combo there from Bumgarner. Oh, big right hand, she slid out well as well. Good body shot there from Baumgartner. Nicolette lands a right. She's the one putting the pressure on early. Let, let go of it. Let it go. Work out of that. She said she would Stop. like two and a half, three months to train for Bumgarner, but Box. I was training regularly. Only had a month and a half to get ready for this fight. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Had to take this opportunity. Yeah, she said she got the Stop phone call right around Christmas. Popped in her car. Oh, right hand. A big right hand from Mekalev. Alicia is circling right to her right hand, which is oh, not what you would up, normally want to do. And that may have woken up Bumgarner a little bit, who's sitting in the pocket now. Bumgarner says, listen, they call me the bomb for a reason. You don't want to trade with me. Mechalid has some great defense. She keeps her gloves really close to her face. And when she does throw, you see her twist her whole body into those punches. I think coming into a fight with someone who you know has potential knockout power, maybe you think, I need to do the same thing. Her knee nearly touched, and she's down! Mechalette down here in round three! That was a strong over-the-top right hand from Alicia Baumgartner that started all this. Two step. Come in. You want to come? I don't know if Mechalid's all there. No, she's looking over to the corner, looking for advice. Oh, and look at Alicia. She's going for the gusto right here in round three. That's that brawler coming out. And down goes the French woman again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come to me. You want to continue? You sure? Nothing but calm on the face of Alicia Baumgartner right now. Oh, and here comes the bomb. Can she deliver the final fateful blow? <laughs> lefts, rights, lefts, rights. They're all landing. What a performance from one of boxing's pound for pound queens. That was a push there on that last one. It was, it was close, though. The referee no, gave no, Nicolette a break. She was going down because she is taking a lot of punishment right now. 30 seconds to go. It might be the longest half minute of Mechalette's life. What a performance here from Baumgartner. I got you, I got you. Step back. Step back, step back. Mechalette has never been stopped. You know, in her last fight, Mechalette traded with Delphine Pursue. She's finding out right now that Alicia Baumgartner is a bigger puncher than Delphine Pursue. What a round for the Detroit native. First knockdown, big right hand, right down the middle. Doesn't quite have her legs under her, and she does go down after that punch. Knockdown number two here. Big right hand. Comes back with a flurry. Mechalette's hands are not at her face. She's taking most of these punches. 
Bumgarner looks like she looks at the waist mm -hmm. of Mechaled. Is that how you perform, Jessica? Uh, I wouldn't say she's looking at the waist. I would say she's looking out of her peripheral, which is what I do. I don't necessarily look at someone directly in their face or look at anything specifically because I like to see everything that's going on around me, the hands, the feet. I can see everything at once if I'm not paying attention directly to one thing. Nice right from Mechaled. Lucy, you can't pull her head down, okay? Uh, box. Mechaled's got a chance to win this round oh. if for no other reason than Baumgartner appears to be taking it off. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. Are you, Chris? Well, I mean, she looked tired in that last one, so maybe this is something of a recovery round. You talk about the second wind of a puncher who's thrown a bunch of punches, but you're also talking about the second wind of somebody who's gotten knocked down, and can they really recover? So a good bounce back round for Mechalek. Each side wanted it to be, you know, just, just a blast through. And I think he's saying, you got to throw more punches so it's not close. You have to dominate. You have to throw multiple punches. And every time you do, she gets wobbled. That right hand on the ear scored for Bumgarner. But Mechalek still coming forward despite eating these heavy shots from Bumgarner. There's another left hook, right hand, left hook, back her up. Oh, look at the intensity from Bumgarner. She wants to end this right here and right now. Boy, when she turns it on, Chris, there are few fighters in the world that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with She's her. She's got big-time power behind that right hand, and Mechalette's legs are gone. Pretty sure her corner said not to come forward yet, but I think she just disregarded that a little bit. Oh, you also heard her corner, too, say, let's make a statement. A knockout here would make a statement. For sure. Down twice, Mechalette has been. Both in the third round. Bumgarner took the fourth off, but now she's back at it. You just feel, Jessica, that as strong as Alicia Baumgarner can, co can come on, that tank empties real quick. <laughs> like when, yeah. she, when she runs out of gas, she runs out of gas. Yeah, I, I think the same thing. She might take the next round off after having such a good flurry. I mean, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to win the fight and take breaks when you can. I think it is smart to take breaks. You just got to know when and do it to where you're not losing a whole round. Don't blind her. Don't blind her. Slip, they say. Yeah, it looked like Baumgartner's left arm extended and pushed Mechalette to the ground. Nineteen seconds left. What a high volume, high acting showdown! These two women giving you all they've got. Great battle. City. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' scorecards. Robin Taylor and Eric Marlinski both scored the bout 99 to 89. Tony Paolillo scored this bout 98 to 90. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the undisputed super featherweight Champion of the world, Alicia the Bomb Bumgardner.